Today, we're gonna show you how to make amazing smoked venison on your Traeger grill. First things first, let's head out and get that grill fired up. We went ahead and topped it off with our Ace Reserve blend pellets. We're gonna set the temp today for 180 degrees. That's how we're gonna start this venison off with a beautiful smoke bath. Ingredients today, I start off with two venison tenderloins. Uh, total weight between these two is about one and three quarter pounds. Uh, smaller tenderloins, but these are gonna cook up nice and fast. And you wanna be careful because these are a little bit leaner. Uh, so we're not looking to have too big of a tenderloin. That's gonna take us too long to cook and be dry. Now, we're gonna season it with a little bit of that canola oil. That's a canola olive blend. And now we have a ton of rubs available at your local Ace Hardware. You can go in and really pick from the best rubs on the the market. Today, I'm going to use my own Game On rub. It's a wild game rub that is going to be absolutely fantastic on this venison. As you can see from these tenderloins, we've got a little bit of what we call silver skin. Now, I'm going to go under that very, very carefully and just wiggle my knife under like that. I'm using a thin bladed boning knife. I want to just take off that silver skin. I'm not looking to take off any of the meat. So we'll go ahead and finish this one up. Really, that's going to be all the trimming. If you look at this, it's nice and clean. Maybe I have a little piece there that needs to get done. But if you look at it nice and clean, not a lot of fat because this is going to be lean. Our only task is going to be to remove that silver skin. Finish this guy up. I'll move on to the next one. Now that we're all trimmed up, a light coating of oil on here. I'll tell you what, that oil is going to help out a lot. Again, just like I said, the venison is a little bit lean, uh, so that oil is going to help huge. Now, I just want enough to coat. I'm not looking to have a ton of it. And next, we're going to go ahead and take that game on rub and get that on there. So I always say, you guys, season as light or as heavy as you want. You're going to get beautiful flavors in here of brown sugar, uh, chervil, parsley, sumac berry, garlic, onion. Absolutely fantastic. So we'll go ahead and get these guys seasoned up. Now, once they're seasoned, I'm going to let them sit for about 10 minutes while my grill reaches that 180 degrees temp. Before we get ready to put this into the Traeger, we want to make sure we load our probe. So I'm going to go right into the center with my wired probe. Tenderloin number one is in, we'll add tenderloin number two. Now, we're gonna smoke it at 180 degrees for 30 minutes. So we'll go ahead and close it, let it enjoy a little bit of smoke bath time. Here we are right after 30 minutes of smoke bath. We're sitting at 95 degrees internal temperature. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is turn the Traeger up to 375 degrees so we can roast these off. We're gonna cook them to 130 degrees, rest them, finish them to 135 degrees. Look at that, we just hit 130 degrees. Flip that over, look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm gonna pull this off at 130 degrees. We're gonna let it rest because uh, that resting time is gonna allow for a little bit of carryover cooking, should finish right at that 135. So, we'll pull this off and I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, let's check that doneness right there. Look at that, that came out absolutely perfect medium. Talk about some amazing venison. Thinking we got that right there. I will tell you, nothing brings out the smoke flavor of the Traeger like a little bit of venison. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Now, if you need a great side dish to go along with this, smoke mashed potatoes, that video coming up next.